Hey, welcome to Real Action. Michael Guest, Jack Nolan, on a very, very, very cold morning. I don't think pictures can really give you the give you the temperature, but I've got no. to tell you, <laughs> there was ice on the windscreen. It is super cold in the negatives at the moment, but the first frosts of the year are always a great time to catch one of my favourite fish, and that's the Mighty Murray Cod. This is a beautiful stretch of river behind us here. Waterfalls dropping off in that direction. We've got the tinny all packed up, ready to go. Got a few rods rigged. We're keen. We've had a coffee. It's warming up. <laughs> sort of warming up. <laughs> it's time to go and find one. All right, buddy. Got him. Got him. Oh, oh that woke me up real quick, that one. <laughs> Look at oh, that. Nice oh, fish. Look at that. How pretty is that? Beautiful looking fish. That. Oh, mate, that is. Look at that. <laughs> oh, oh, first one in the morning, oh. mate. That's waking me up, I've got a tee. You're gonna All just, right. you reckon you're just gonna slide him in, give him the thumb grip? I'll oh. just give him the thumb in. They've got raspy, small raspy teeth, but you can, look, if, if I go home and, and see my young fella and I haven't got a rubbed up thumb, he's saying, Dad, you didn't catch any cod, but I can't <laughs> gonna tell you we did. Look Can't at that. that. They can grow to an incredible size, up over a 100 pound, but I've got to tell you, these creek fish this size, on the right tackle, are just such good fun, and we're using, uh, a couple of different techniques. We've got the surface lure, but uh, we switched over to that soft plastic with that, that little trailing, what we call a Colorado blade. And uh, he didn't miss it this morning. No, he he's climbed it. on it. It's working yeah. you up. Yeah, that's it. It is dead set about minus one <laughs> degrees at the moment. It's freezing cold. But I can tell you, it is just a beautiful morning, high barometer, and that's one of the keys when you're chasing cod. Right, let him go. We'll come back and see him when he's a bit bigger. Off you go, bud. Oh. <laughs> oh. Got him on. Yes. Oh, right there, mate, next to the boat. Yeah, you're a real little fella, this one, boy. Oh, a couple of nice head shakes. Oh, here he oh, is. Oh, he's all right. Oh, <laughs> splashing around. Actually, if you hang on I'll the back. I'll grab that for you. He's come up pretty quick. Oh, he's jammed that lure. He has. He's sort of jammed it sideways in his mouth. Oh, check that out. I'll lift him up. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful little fish. How pretty is he looking in the sunlight? Man, I, I just love that, that sort of that pattern, that camouflage pattern they got on there. Yeah. All right, buddy, off you go, mate. Oh, yep, got him. Got oh. him. Oh, that's a good boil. Oh, that a better that. fish? Yeah, he's not. He's a good one. He didn't hit it as hard, that one, but... Oh, it had that. to be a fish there. Oh, it looked too good, didn't it? Yep. Yeah, he's a bit better. He is just... I can't even Can see that see lure. No. I was going to say, <laughs> that lure's gone. It's gone. So Jack, he uh, wound the surface lure along that weed weed edge. So there's like a little raft of weed with a deep drop off and they just sit underneath those weed edges. So they're a really good sp spot to fish. So you've got timber snags, you've got those weed rafts and up further we've got rocky boulders to fish as well. Just wanted to bring this fish in right in shallow and just show you. They're like a great white shark. <laughs> They've got a dark back and a white belly. All right, mate, grab him there. And their appetite, I'll grab your rod, their appetite is just ridiculous. And if, you, if we just carefully lift him and point him to camera there, that lure, which is that long, it has just gone. disappeared. Just Absolutely gone. engulfed it. All right, mate, let him go. He's a bit of a superstar, that fella. He is for sure, mate. 
Off you go, bud. Marine Rescue New South Wales has more than 3,000 volunteers to help keep you safe on the water. You can log on with your local Marine Rescue base when you're heading out. You can call them back to check your marine radio is working. Best of all, they'll come to your rescue if you break down or worse. It costs a lot to provide this world-class service, so make sure you support your local volunteers whenever you get the chance. Marine Rescue New South Wales, volunteers saving lives on the water. go through the rig a little bit with what we're using and um, uh, Jack has absolutely trashed <laughs> this well the Murray Cod have trashed the soft they plastic. Have, yeah it wasn't me. Yeah you know what there's one left in the packet so fantastic these um, paddle tail plastics they've got the sort of that real realistic eye and all that sort of thing going on um, that sort of holographic printing up the side so this is six inch this one and then we've got um, a couple of different specifications as far as these um, weedless presentations go. One's got a, what we call a willow blade and this one's got a Colorado blade which is the smaller gold one. Probably works at a slightly slower speed. That one you've got to wind a little bit quicker. You got it right? Oh, you didn't mark oh, it up did oh, you mate? No, nah, not at all. I think out through the top. <laughs> there you go. And that's the, that's the finished presentation. It isn't right there mate. So you've got a lefty's loop knot or a loop knot hanging off there. Yep. There's that blade which sits it in the water and spins around and when the fish come along and bite down that hook exposes and uh, bang, there's your, there's your hook up. Oh, yes, that's a good fish. Go, son. Right there, mate. Right out the boat. How was that? Right at your feet. That's a solid one. That's He's a, a good one. one, this fella. He is a good one. He just caught oh, it. up yet. There he goes. How cool is that? <laughs> and you're talking about polarised sunnies. That's a nice fish, that one. Yeah, he's a cracker. And... Uh, I was just looking, there's a little window of sun there because we finally got the sun up a little bit and had the sunnies on and I just I just saw this thing appear and just eat. That's a solid creek that uh, creek cod that one. I nearly said bass then. I forgot where I was. <laughs> Look at him, he's solid, chunky. Big fat fella, that one there. He's a cracker. Right. Right, pass right. me that, mate. You take that one. You I'll grab him. Cod. Just bring him a bit closer so you can get a good look at him. And look, we're fishing out of the uh, the car topper today and it's just a fantastic way to go and explore little creek systems and river systems and catch fish well, catch fish just like that quite often i'll have the petrol motor on the back got the electric motor on there on the front we've got the depth sounder we're pretty well set up you can throw a couple of swags and just roll them out on the bank we're lucky we've got a little cabin just up the road there we can we can stay in and have a fire going but it's yeah. just a magnificent part of the world and a beautiful day and some even better looking fish we'll get this bloke back in the water and uh, some good looking country further up i can't wait to have a have a couple more casts, but uh, the soft plastics are certainly doing the job at the moment. All right. Oh, yep. Got him. That's a better one. Got him. Yep, got him. You're on fire, Jacko. Yeah. yeah. He's not bad, this one. Hit it right out there. Right at the point tip of that, that tree. Yeah, tip there. of that tree there, yeah. The tackle we're using at the moment, uh, six to ten kilo. Little low profile bait casting outfits. We've got three different ones that we're using there, but um, some 20 pound, uh, 20 pound braid and uh, a bit of 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. That's a nice fish, mate. Right. He's nice. And that's perfect. 30 pounds all you need for these creek fish, I reckon. If yeah. you get a bigger fish, they do have that raspy mouth, but um, 30 pounds well and truly fine. If you're going, going to chase some of those, I know you've been catching some cracking big um, fish in the impoundments lately. I've seen a couple of yeah. nice ones and yep. I've caught some good ones in there myself. Um, you'd go up to you know, 60 pound 60, litre. Yeah, that's all we're running, 60 pound in there. And probably heavier braid too, heavier rods, but for this, these size fish, uh, perfect little setup. I'll sneak him in there, mate, so I'll grab yeah. him for you. You do the honours. I will. Oh, nice. I'll pop that out. That is just that green colour. They've been loving that today. Oh, they are loving it. Look at that. Oh, yep. Another one. <laughs> I'll get out of your way. Right at the boat, he was. Oh, that's a slightly better one. Come here, buddy. Oh, now 
slightly different technique. I've got a conventional jig head and I've taken that weedless rig off. Come here, mate. Let me give you a thumb grip. <laughs> That's it there. I'll pop that out. And I've still added the little gold flashy uh, Colorado blade there. So just for those uh, deeper sections there, I missed a couple of bites on the weedless, which you can at times where you can't have it both ways. You can't nah. have that hook exposure That's it. And, and be weedless. So then I've just gone to a conventional jig head with a bit better hook exposure just for the rocky sections. And when we're throwing right up in amongst the snags, we'll go back to that weedless uh, part where that, that hook um, is hidden in the plastic a little bit. And when they bite down, uh, it exposes it and away it goes. Off you go, bud. Amazing if you're just walking along the bank here having a cast, you don't understand just how deep some of these creeks and river systems can be. It's actually just dropping away here now, but it's around about 14 metres deep, or even at 12 metres here, but just in front of me, 14 metres deep. That's crazy. So, um, so fishing, you know, soft plastic lures like we're fishing there, then you do need to go up in your jig head size and sink it right down. And so we'll be using the sander there at the moment. I'll just spin us around a bit so you can see just to see if we can see any big fish sitting down deep. I've caught big fish in this hole before out of, a, out of a kayak actually, and I didn't realize how deep it was, but um, amazing. And uh, to think that there's so much water underneath us, and I'll just click to another page there to click around. So I've got down scan happening there with, with, um, with uh, all sorts of definition and then conventional sounder picture as well. So certainly keep an eye out, not only for fish, but you're looking for snags or rocky boulders in this area where we've got a lot of rock. So any of those sheer drop-offs, and they're the areas where you really want to target. Certainly with a big, you need a very big deep diver, but I'm thinking more heavy weighted lures, heavy soft plastics down along that edge, a good place to be. And having the boat set up with the sander there just makes it ideal. Otherwise, you just tend to drive along and you fish the edges and you forget about what's underneath. Got him. Oh, first cast. <laughs> Straight away. He smashed Whack. that. Nice work, mate. Slow roll again. Got him. Just the slow roll. That's yep. it, isn't it? It's a technique. He's not a bad Oof, one. He's Look a nice that. fish. Yeah, that slow roll. You just got to be patient. I mean, you start whining too fast. That's and, right. Oh, he's a nice one, actually. Yeah. He's a solid one. Ooh. I'm luring. One of the better ones of this morning. Yeah, got his got the lure jammed across his face. Yep. Oh yeah, look at that. that I'll let you do the honours. I'll do the. I'll get the cod thumb. Yep. You catch him, and I'll. I'll oh. Happy with that. that. That's a nice fish. That. That's a beautiful looking fish. You can see the size of the mouth on these fish is just. Uh, just crazy, and that's why I can swallow such big prey. And I tell you, that water is very, very cold at the moment, but um, still feeding. They're still biting. Big appetite. That's it. Big mouth to go with it. Put a tail on him. All right, bud, let him go. Oh, no. Yeah. Here he goes. Go, bud. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Got him, mate. Right Go. there, mate. Right under the boat. He was. <laughs> Another nice fish. Look at that. And they, they, they just wake you up, don't they? Oh. Lift him straight up, mate. You grab him. Yeah, you want yeah, to hold him up, that. Mate. Go and grab him there, nice and carefully. Once you rig those soft plastics, I think it's important that you, once you rig them, that you put them in the water and have a look. Make sure they're swimming the way you want them to swim. So don't just rig it and throw it out there and hope for the best. So once you That's rig it. it I'll pop that out of there. Nicely should, hooked. Should come out. That sounds there good. You go. 
Yeah, once it's rigged, you can see Jack's got that absolutely spot on. That fish will bite down. You get that hook exposure. So if it, if it, if it looks if it looks a bit like that or it's down like that, then it's not right. It's got to look natural in the water, and that's the result. All right, that's mate. Okay. Get him back in. All right, bud, I'll grab a tackle bag. You got that's those bad. rods. Yeah, a couple of rods here. Don't go in the drink. No, I'm trying not to. It looks a bit on the slippery side of that one, but we made it. That's all good. Oh, <laughs> that was a pretty good uh, session that so is. far in in the boat. But there's a waterfall. Oh, not a waterfall. A heap of rapids that drop off and some stone just down there. So we're going to tie the boat up. We might have another fish in there this afternoon. See how we go. But we're going to just go and walk a bit of a, a hole down this way and fish from the bank instead. So we'll give that a go. <laughs> Go, mate. Oh. Smash that one about midway back. Yeah, right. Nice. Kept pausing it, letting it sink Oof. down. He's not bad. Oh, he looks good. Look at that. Crank my lure in, put my rod down. You're on fire today, Jacko. I'm getting a few. Every dog has its day, as they say. And yep. it's definitely your day today, mate. My day today. We'll give him the thumb grip. Whenever you're going to give the fish a thumb, thumb grip like that, just make sure you take a really good grip and support that belly. It's so important, support the belly. Uh, get your photograph, do whatever you're gonna do, and let those fish uh, let those fish go. That's it. Yeah, it's Pretty amazing. fish, aren't they? Yeah, and look, it's good to see this river in such prime condition. We've just had drought after drought after drought. The last three or four months, five months, uh, we've had fantastic um, levels of rainfall, and uh, this river looks as good as I've seen in a long time. Nice and clean, very cold at the moment. But the water's clear and the fish look super healthy and that's the most important thing. So that's it. pop that hook out. I'm going to tell you, that is a seriously nice fish. Off you go, buddy. Down this way. Oh, oh he's, off. he's gone. Oh, yep, got him. Go, son. Oh, I was just letting that sink then. I didn't even. So I had it on the drop. I didn't even feel, yeah, and I wound up and he was on there. He's this not a bad to, one either. This goes to show you got a stay in touch, haven't you? If that lure's sinking and they they swim when they sink with those big paddle tails and that and that blade spinning around, can't quite see. Feels all right. Well, here he comes. Yeah, oh, nice yeah. One. No, nothing, nothing wrong with that. Oh, yeah, how's that? Nice. Oh, oh. <laughs> he's, that is a nice Look fish. That. Look at that. That is a beauty. So pretty. Oh, man. Got to be one of the prettiest fish. So those lures sinking down, you just got to be ready for the bite at any time. When you've got a lure that swims down like these lures do, don't sort of cast it out and then take your mind off the job because something like that could be climbing on the other end. That is a glorious looking cod right there. How good is it to not see a carp? We haven't seen a single European carp. I hate carp. I'm a, I, I hate them. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Carp bashers, massive fan of the carp bash. I, I'm yeah. not a fan of European carp at all. We did see a platypus and you know that just tells you uh, what a great uh, you know, how good this river system is at the moment. Nice it's in, and healthy. Oh, it is. It's just beautiful. beautiful. And it's so been, many of these fellas too. Yeah, producing Plenty fish like that, it's pretty awesome, isn't it? Yeah. Right, mate. Off you go, mate. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> oh, yep. Got him. Got him. Right there. Oh, look at him. He's oh. going here. Come this way, bud. You wait. <laughs> You're right. Oh. Mate, that's a bit better. Like not a bad one. So you what, he hit it pretty hard. I haven't seen him he yet. Off there. Oh no, he's, he's alright. He's alright, he's a nice one. He's a nice one, look at that. Crashed yeah, it. There you are. That's what we wanted to see. Oh yes. That's the fish we were looking for, young look Jack. That. Roll him well into the... Done. That's a nice one. I'll take that little boy <laughs> out. Mate, I've been holding back. You've been smacking them all day today and you have days where, where the... I'm not going to call you apprentice. Jack actually works as a barramundi guide in the top end. He's a pretty handy fisherman, this bloke. Don't worry about that. But you have your days where you're not catching them. But I'm going to tell you, in a place like this, I've been happy to land your fish. I did want to try and catch one that was maybe a slightly better one. And I think I'd possibly 
That's a lifted up. What do you we'll what say? Do you? I did say before, I said, if you're going to get one, just get a nice one. All right, cool. And, and have I you said, done it? Yeah, so well, we're well, all happy. We've just about done it. I've just got to pick it up here now. It's a nice one. And that's a nice Look fat one. Look at that. That's a cracker. That's what we came for. We spoke about big empowerment, Murray Cod, and oh, I tell you, this is such a beautiful spot. One thing you do need to do is make sure you get permission. Um, we've got permission. Did we get permission? We did. No, we oh, got, you did. of course, we got permission. So we're on private property. Don't go jumping fences and entering, you know, through through people's places. No, you don't want anyone jumping your back fence and jumping in your swimming pool. Well, it's the same thing. I know you, some people don't think of it that way. Yeah. Get permission, and you'll find a lot of farmers will let you on. If they don't, well, go and try somewhere else. Do the right thing. Shuttle the gates, and uh, you'll be surprised where you can get and go and get into some fish just like that. And I'm going to tell you, that is an absolute beauty. Now that's a cracking catch. Have you been catching some ripper fish lately? Send in your photo to our Alfabs Cracking Catch competition at the Real Action TV Facebook page. To get you hooked up every week, we're giving away a pen, rod, reel and line combo and awesome JBL marine stereo system along with some great gear from Valvoline to keep your marine engine and trailer lubricated. Well, check that out. That is a beautiful Creek Murray Cod. We've had a fantastic time in the car topper, uh, up and down, the bigger hole up above us. We sort of fished that one. We wanted that one extra fish, and I've got to tell you, it was worth going for a bit of a walk, getting the boots out, and, uh, and we found this fella here. You've been watching Real Action. Michael Guest, Jack Nolan, we'll catch you next time. See ya. Off you go, bud. That is a cracker. Off you go, old son. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what. It's not dark yet. I reckon we've got time for another cast yet. Grab your rod, mate. We'll, we'll keep going that way. Always Let's go. Time for one yeah, more yeah. Cast, eh? There's always time for one last cast. Let's go, mate. If you want more tips, tricks, and behind the scenes stories, check out the Real Action Fishing Podcast. Mm -hmm.